What is up Kilo crew and welcome to today's video. Today Randy and I are heading down to the Chicagoland area on this very bleak and dreary day. But anyways, hopefully we will be off to some fairer weather and some fun times as we make our way down to a place called Roots Pizza where we're going to be taking on a random spread of some of their menu items down there. Now we don't have full details quite yet, we'll learn more when we get to the restaurant. But anyways, we're both really, really hungry, looking forward to this. It will be an individual challenge, but I will of course catch you guys with more details in Chicago at Roots Pizza when the food arrives. There's like a cool like rooftop vibe going on up there. You're in like a greenhouse thing. It's well lit, people are partying, but I am instead sequestered down here in the basement with some loyal Kilo Crew fans cheering me on here while I tackle this brand new Quad City Pizza Challenge. Now I'm going to have one hour to finish everything you see here. I will go into more details of course in the voiceover, but I have a giant 16 inch taco pizza here in front of me that looks absolutely insane. It is the Quad City style of pizza, which I will go into detail about later. And then I also have five of their jumbo mozzarella sticks to take down. These things are clunky. I think I could club somebody to death with these. I also have a large helping of their spinach and artichoke dip, which looks amazing, along with some of their fresh pita chips. And then my favorite part of this whole darn thing is I get a big old slice of fruity pebble cheesecake to finish this all off with. So really, really looking forward to digging into this. I just watched Randy take this on, and so I am super hangry and super ready to tuck in. But I will have one hour to finish everything here. If I am successful, I will get this $60 meal for free and a groovy t-shirt and a spot up on the wall of fame. So either way, I want to finish all of this just because it looks good. So ain't nothing to it but to do it. Let's pull my hair back and let's get this challenge started. Yeah! All right, one hour on the clock. Groovy t-shirt on the line, Quad City Pizza Challenge. One, two, three. Let's eat some cheese. There's a lot of cheese. All right, start with the mozzarella sticks. Oh, oh. Oh, that is steamy. Oh. Oh, let's go to the middle of it. Oh, I'm so happy. What is up, Kilo Crew? And welcome to a video that is finally cheesier than my dad jokes. I got a little overzealous on that bite. That was a big bite of mozzarella cheese. Let's try some of the sauce. Yeah, in fun fact, each of these cheese logs weighed in at a whopping four ounces. I am a very, very happy camper right now. It's a great day in the office. I never forget that I'm a lucky gal getting to try all of this great food. Look at all the fresh, it's like leaking cheese goo. Oh my goodness. Y'all, woo, this is unreal. Do I do apologize in advance for any of you who are accumulating a large puddle of drool from watching this video right now. I, I know I need to mop myself up. Uh oh. I'm taking too long to eat already. We are having technical difficulties, Kilo Crew. There we go. It was like when you're watching the Oscars and they cue that dramatic music when someone gives way too long of a speech. <laughs> but uh, luckily the lights came back on and the show continued. If I lived in Chicago, I think this place would be taking all my money. The rooftop dining area was super awesome that I showed in the beginning of the video. I wish we could have eaten up there, but it was just so loud and there were so many people there celebrating March Madness. It just wouldn't have made sense for filming a video. So this little basement area worked. I'm kind of heartbroken that I'm on my last mozzarella stick already. That's all right. Yeah, not to worry. There's plenty more cheese where that came from. Loaded up in that artichoke dip and, of course, on the pizza as well. Cheers. Mm. That is good. Wow. I'm going to save some of the marinara sauce for the pizza and try some of the spinach artichoke dip here. It looks yummy. This is quite the cauldron. 
Mmm, pita. These pita chips had me a bit worried as they looked so crusty, but they ended up being soft and easy to eat. Yeah. That was my way of articulating that this was very flavor packed. Fun fact, spinach and artichoke dip is one of my favorite appetizers, so I'm very happy. Yeah, even that microwave nonsense from like Applebee's makes me happy, so this one was definitely tickling my fancy. I do love me some good dip. This is a very large serving of pita though. It's gonna get heavy. Went a little out of order of my typical order of operations, loading those carbs up on the bottom of this challenge, but was a little daunted by the pizza, so wanted to get all the sides out of the way mostly, and then just tackle that taco pizza all in one shot. I'm really happy I'm doing this as a challenge because I wouldn't want to share this. It's too good. <laughs> I promise I'm not entirely greedy when I'm out dining with friends. I have yet to slap a hand away when sharing appetizers or chips and dip with a party. All right, final bite of at least the bread. That is so yummy and the nice warm gooiness of all that cheese help that bread slide down nice and easy. But here is the main star of the show, taco pizza which voiceover me will tell you all about because it looks divine. I know there is a lot here though. Oh boy, here we go. Wow, that was crazy flavorful. I guess Quad City means that there's malt in the dough. And you can taste it, it's a little sugary. Quad City Pizza is a regional specialty I had yet to experience. It goes really good with the spinach ice cream dip too. It does indeed, and with about 22 ounces of dough alone, I needed all the sauces and dipping I could get. There was a lot of chewing involved with this za, no matter how delicious the dough was. They do not go light on the toppings here. You get your money's worth when you order a taco pizza. This thing was piled high with a couple of pounds of mozzarella and cheddar cheeses, loads of lettuce, and then over a pound of taco meat. And then on top of that is a blanket of air quote taco chips, which are not to be confused with Doritos, even though they looked a lot like them. But yeah, it was basically nachos on a pizza. I am thankful to be standing at the bar for this one. I need all the room I can get. The cheese and carbs were already sitting heavy at this point, even at only 11 minutes in. Last bits of dip that is officially gone. Let's resurface and breathe for a moment. I guess they also cut this pizza with scissors too, which is very unique. I kind of like it. You'll notice that it's cut into like weird strips instead of the typical slice or squares you would see. So I guess the Quad City region does things quite a bit different than anywhere else. So if you guys are from there, holler in the comments. This is the pizza you get when you don't know if you want nachos or a pizza. Exactly. Everyone has that one friend or that one date that can't decide what they want to eat. So if you ever encounter that, this is the pizza for them or the pizza for you if you are that person. This is a very intimidating pizza to look at. I'm trying not to let it get in my head. Again, I was already pretty nervous. Even at only 15 minutes in, I was already starting to feel this one. So this was all a mental game. I don't know. It's hard to tell underneath the mass of toppings, but I think this will be the halfway point and the pizza once I finish the slice. Luckily, I've been feeling rather well trained though, so I knew that as long as I could overcome the flavor fatigue, I would have plenty of room to get this whole thing down. You need a good old fashioned burp. Oh, money. Okay. <laughs> The toughest part about this pizza was that it was so flavorful that it led to almost instant flavor fatigue just because there was so much taco seasoning and then those chips as well. It was a lot. The sour cream is kind of saving the day. It's like bright and fresh. Mm. True that. Sour cream is delicious even in the best of times. The only other thing I could think of that would have elevated this a lot would be maybe like a side of guacamole, but I didn't even think about asking for some of that. And this isn't quite as entertaining as March Madness. Unfortunately. Watching somebody eat food live and in person is much less interesting when there's no rock music and fast forwarding. Fun fact, I graduated from Gonzaga in 2020 and apparently they're doing well this year, so go Zach. 
Is it still being a bandwagon fan if it's my alma mater? I have no idea, but yeah, go Zags. I don't follow basketball at all. I'm way too short to care, I guess. So yeah, woo. Maybe, maybe marinara sauce will take Okay. That stuff's delightful. Just up with the crust. Very attentive of Randy to ask that question. He was walking around the crowd, kind of struggling himself after finishing up his attempt as well. Wow, that's fast. My queen. Oh, thank you. From your humble, from your humble servant. Oh, uh, thank you. The things he'll do for a subscriber. <laughs> A little cuteness overload there for your enjoyment during this video. Always really nice when he'll come by and help me out or deliver like a Diet Coke or some sort of dip when I need it. I love to do the same thing for him in his videos, so always great to have a team member that understands the struggle. So cheers to Randy. Mm -hmm. I know I'm being a sissy because I have a lot of room in my dessert stomach. Just not in my salty stomach. So I just need to buck up and eat. It's cliche to say I'm not full, just have flavor fatigue, but it's kind of true sometimes. You just don't want to swallow a particular food, and anything sweet to cut the saltiness would have been very much welcomed at this point. Uh, the finish line was in sight though, and the crowd still had my back, so I was feeling much more confident at this point. A little uh, negative self-talk there, kicking myself in my own pants to get me moving. I was feeling a little slow, getting kind of irritated at myself for not just bucking up and starting to just munch away. It was all in my head and I knew it here at this point. You're right, it's uh, 10 minutes to go. 50, 10. Randy with the much needed time check there. Sometimes I can't really see what's going on on my timer since I have it facing y'all. So that was always helpful to kind of know where I stood on time. I'm just ready for the cheesecake. <laughs> I think at this point it goes without saying that if there is something sweet on the table, I am demanding it, I am wanting it. My insatiable sweet tooth is kind of notorious at this point, but yeah. That is enough talking from me. I will leave you guys to enjoy the rest of the video and I will catch you in the next one. Yes. minutes and 57 seconds. That was some endurance eating right there. Loved everything about 
those mozzarella sticks, the spinach artichoke dip, the taco pizza was next level. It was just, it was a lot. It was a pizza with a side of nachos on it. So uh, that was lovely though. Thank goodness for winning. I do get the $60 meal for free. I do get a groovy t-shirt, which I will show you all at the end. And I do get my name up on the wall of fame here at Roots Handmade Pizza. Again, I'm at the South Loop location, but there's Roots Pizzas like all over Chicago and it's awesome. But oh, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video. Oh, yeah, there's always room for dessert, I guess. That's lesson learned. All right, I'm done. Bye-bye.